is with us here in the studio today. Uh, Lobsan Sege is head of the Tibetan government in exile. Thank you so much for being with us uh, Thank you, on Terry. DW News. So you live in Dharamsala in India, which has hosted the Tibetan government in exile now for decades. How difficult is it for you to represent your country's quest for liberty, having never lived in Tibet yourself? Personally, it's painful that I'm a Tibetan and who is not allowed to go to Tibet and see my own countrymen and my family members and relatives. But at the same time, it gives great pride to represent the Tibetans in Tibet because as per Freedom House, you know, the index says that Tibet is the second least free region after Syria. Now everybody knows about Syria, talks about Syria, but not much about Tibet. Hence, it's a matter of great pride that I could represent and reflect the aspirations of Tibetans in Tibet and highlight or magnify the sufferings that Tibetans inside Tibet do. You mentioned the freedoms being restricted in Tibet. Uh, just as one example, apparently it's forbidden to even show a picture of the uh, Tibetan spiritual leader, the Dalai Lama there. Do you see any chance for improvement in the situation, the, the civil rights and the freedom for the people living in Tibet? It's odd that you know, China uh, claimed itself to be a rising superpower, so powerful, yet they feel so threatened by a single person, His Holiness the Dalai Lama. The fact that he's so popular and revered by Tibetans inside Tibet, everybody wants to get a blessing from him, keep a picture of him, yet the Chinese government doesn't allow. And hence, the Chinese government should see His Holiness the Dalai Lama as a solution to the Tibet issue and not a problem. That is the crux of the issue. I want to talk more about that in just a moment, mm. uh, how we might make, pro how you might make progress on this issue. Yeah, but yesterday, uh, you're, here in, you're here in Germany right mm. now. Yesterday you met with uh, Claudia Roth, um, uh, a member of the German parliament. You're going to meet with other members of parliament today, I understand. Uh, mm. you, didn't have, you didn't get a meeting with the chancellor, but Chancellor Merkel will be in China mm. next week. Uh, what would you hope to have her say about your cause while she's there? No, we always want a good relationship between Germany and China. Having said that, we also want you know, Germany to have good trade relationships. So you should do business and make money, but you should also stand up for the morals and the values of Germany. For example, Germany is an inspiration for many countries around the world because this is where the Berlin Wall came down. This is where the reunification East and West Germany happened. That spirit of Berlin Wall should be taken to Beijing by Chancellor Angela Merkel and conveyed to the president of China and other leaders and say, the unification is good. The bringing down the wall is good. So we hope Angela Merkel will you know, help us bring down the wall in Tibet of repression and restore freedom for Tibetan people. And then he, she will urge that there be a dialogue between the envoys of the Dalai Lama and representative of the Chinese government. There have been discussions between the Tibetan government in exile and Chinese officials in the past. Uh, apparently, those discussions are suspended at the moment. Nothing is really happening. Do you see any chance of those discussions being revived? And uh, what do you think should happen to, in order to, to push the cause of reconciliation? One should always remain hopeful that you're right. Before envoys of the Dalai Lama and Chinese government's representative met for nine times, but it ended in January of 2010. It's high time that you know, Xi Jinping in his second term, you know, revive that and through dialogue, Tibet issue be resolved peacefully. And for that, I think a little bit of wisdom and courage on the part of Chinese leadership is very important from our side. We always say we are willing to enter into dialogue anytime, anywhere, and envoys of the Dalai Lama are ready. I hopefully, and there will be dialogue and the solution will be found. Lopsang Senge, head of the Tibetan government in exile, thank you so much for being with us this morning on DW News. Thank you very much, Terry.